We're following breaking news this morning. 33,000 Boeing workers are on strike, and this comes after nearly 95% of machinists and factory workers voted against a potential new contract. 96% then voted in favor of striking. Employees hit the picket lines at midnight, and we're taking a live look in Renton, where workers have been there throughout the night, cheering, honking, and rallying, as you heard. And meanwhile, Fox 13's Nikki Torres is up at the Everett plant. Nikki, sounds like people are pretty fired up out there. John, Bill, the energy is definitely out here outside of Everett Boeing. There have been cars that have been passing by, honking in support. Some of them even have the signs that are hanging out of the window. So they have a lot of support this morning, and they are just getting started. They do expect more workers to be out here as today progresses, and they are not going to stop, according to some of the workers that we have already spoken to. Just take a look. They are staying warm out here. They've got the music going. And these strikers, keep in mind, they started literally as soon as their contract expired, which was at 12.01 this morning. The count yesterday wasn't even close to being put through. As we mentioned, it was an overwhelming 94.6% who voted no on the contract that Boeing put on the table and 96% voted yes to this strike. This is the first time that these workers have gone on strike since 2008. There are more than 33,000 Boeing machinists and factory workers who are stopping work and the factories have grinded to a halt. Rippling effects will be felt not only here in Washington, but all over the country. Following the contract rejection last night, Boeing put out this statement saying, quote, the message was clear that the tentative agreement with the IAM leadership was not acceptable to the members. They remain committed to resetting their relationship with employees in the union. They say that they are ready to get back to the table to reach a new agreement. Just this morning, workers that we spoke with, as soon as the clock struck midnight, say this has been a long time coming. They say that they are not happy with the wages being offered and the morals that are being practiced. I mean, we're the low man on the totem pole right now and trying to keep up with, you know, the rest of the world and our bills and stuff like that and the economy. Um, it's been a struggle. And I mean, I'm not even maxed out and it's a struggle. And I, I'm, I'm talking to some of my friends that are maxed out who've been here for a while and they're, they're pinching pennies to live. So had a new contract in 16 years. This is how it all breaks down. The initial contract between Boeing and the union, that was back in 2008, and that was a two-year deal, so that brings you to 2010. Both parties agreed to extend that contract an additional four years, which brought them to 2014. In 2014, there was a long 10-year extension that got signed into place, which brings us to today. Again, that contract expiring this morning at 12 on the dot. Strikers have been out here since 12.01, and we do expect to see more workers build not only here in Everett but at other locations as well. This is a story that we are going to continue following here on Good Day Seattle. We'll bring the latest as it comes. We're live in Everett this morning. I'm Nikki Torres, Fox 13 News. I'll send it back to you in studio.